Yes, sir. Yeah, I'm sure a question. Although it's not related to like drugs and such, um, I have friends who have siblings who are addicted more or less to gaming and like for example like Fortnite. Mm -hmm. Good and one. They yeah. could not put down the controller or the keyboard or whatever you want to call it. Um, There's treatment some, centers now that yeah. specialize in gaming addiction. It's bad. I mean, it's to each their own if you like playing video games a lot, but if you go into that virtual world, you're lost in that. That's just like drugs. Yeah, I it's, mean, it's, it's, it's like, captivating. I, I was in it for as long as I was in seventh grade. Yeah. And I eventually stopped from alternative during my senior because I was, like, especially during breaks, I was spending up to like 14 to 16 hours a day just being wow. out. Wow. I would literally go to bed, or I go to bed around like 10, 30, 11, wake up by alarm, and sit in my parents' in the house just to play all day. <laughs> no judgment, but wow. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I mean, that's for the extreme gamer. Listen, everybody's addicted to something. Just go, walk into a Starbucks today and tell me, can you make eye contact with you? Everybody's like this, right? I mean, everyone's on their phone. So we all have our own addictions, right? Um, I've seen a lot of people replace one addiction for another, especially people that are in, there's one right there. The people that are in recovery will stop, they'll stop drugs and alcohol, but then they'll go back to like the gaming that they used to do when they were kids. And it'd be, it's, it can be really bad, really bad. So, you know, um, sometimes you don't really have a life when you're a gamer, you know what I mean? If that just becomes your life and you're always used to that world, but, um, I would say if you can't remember when you showered and Pop-Tarts is your main source of food, we might have hit rock bottom. <laughs> might have. Uh, you, don't, you don't still live that way, do you? You don't still live that way, do you? No, I don't have gaming, actually. I just started my control during my senior. Like, I wasn't living off of Pop-Tarts. I would just eat whatever left over food. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then you're not well yeah. You're okay. It's like, okay, I just, you know, nuke in the microwave and then go back to... You know, I'll just pause and continue. Forget the boots in the microwave for an hour. <laughs> <laughs> like I said, like, I'm, I'm really concerned for my, my friends, like yeah. the, the little siblings who just cannot control the parents, just don't care. It's mm -hmm. bad. Yeah. Well, I guess we can relate that question to, to asking, as friends or siblings, how do we control or not control our siblings' addiction? I don't have family and addiction, well, nephews, but I didn't deal with them. Actually. Do y'all have? Friends or I mean, siblings? I, I know that there are some of my friends that are parents that have kids with that same problem. They have, they limit them. There's going to be, like, you can play games for an hour a day, but none of this four or five hour stuff. And they'll turn off the internet in the house or whatever, or make sure that you do your studies. Go out and play in the yard like people used to do, or go do things, like go be active, go play soccer, you know, do, do things. I, I just think some, some our addictions will... They can consume us. They can make us different people. And I, I would hope that, you know. For those of you born after 2000, back in the 1900s, we had yards that we would have bought and play. Um, Google it. It's all on there. <laughs> Just check it out. That's another issue. Because it's like my parents, like, for example, I think my friends, they don't live in exactly like a safe neighborhood. They don't have, like, neighborhood friends to play with. And it's not just, like, safe areas. They don't have a park either. And they can't really play anywhere either. Yeah. So wow. they're just stuck at home, and then the parents will let them out, and all they have is just the computer, and they don't want to read because they're younger. And I, you know, I myself try to, you know, talk to some of the younger siblings, and all they do is game. They won't even talk to me. They won't turn it into their head oftentimes. And you know, if they go outside, the parents will get mad, or they can be kidnapped, or even like, there's actually gang wars in some of these areas. Yeah. So they can't really play outside. So now you got me thinking, next time I go to a restaurant and there's a family there and the two-year-old's in the high chair playing with the parents' iPhone, I'm going to tap the parents and say, you're creating an addict. <laughs> <laughs> your kid is a monster. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to be okay, okay with him not playing sports? <laughs>